What's up my friends, Big Hush here with one of these rare product review type videos. I have my own 3D printer, I just don't have a lot of excuses to use it, which I wish I had more of, but now I have a great excuse to use it because I was sent this CR Scan Ferret. 3D scanner from Creality, and I'm stoked to try it out. Now, I'm very, very green to doing product review and brand collaboration type videos, so forgive me if I look like a goober. I don't know the protocol for this, so I'm just trying to cover my bases here. <clears throat> Creality is a leading global consumer level 3D printing brand focusing on 3D printer research and production. The self-developed and manufacturing FDM and resin 3D printers are pioneering in the 3D printing market. How did that sound? Was that pretty good? All right, I'm gonna crack open this box and see what's exactly inside. I was saving this for the moment of the video. I only have one camera, so I'm sorry I'm not doing the whole film a close-up of this being open. This is the best I can do right now. Let's open this sucker up. Do as much as I can this way, and then maybe I'll cut to a different angle. The CR Scan Ferret 3D Scanner User Manual, of course. Small build, great capture. All right, here's the components. This is just the mobile phone clip, obviously. I called this a tripod. It's actually the rechargeable handle. This is the snail gimbal, as it's called. Here, you be very careful with this part, this is the scanner. Oh, sweet. So there's the scanner. There's another compartment up here. This is it. Connection cables. I'm about to sneeze. Purple. 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 It worked. Alright, this right here is our USB cable. Good to have. Oh gosh. Cable for recharge, handle, and smartphone. Dongle apparatus there. Now, before I get to the point of actually using this thing, I did look at the recommended tips that they sent about what to scan, and it says that this thing is really ideal for medium-sized objects, not tiny stuff. In fact, what I want to scan is Mr. Jason Voorhees here. I think that'd be awesome if I scan this bust of the J-Man, see how it turns out. I'm look at this manual real quick. Like I said, I've never used a 3D scanner in my life. Let's put some of these pieces together first. So obviously we're gonna connect the scanner to the little gimbal. Clip clip. Pow! <laughs> Don't put the handle on. All right, so there we go. Attention, attention. If you want to get one of these scanners for yourself, please use my Amazon link below in the info and be sure to enter the code 35 ferret to get $35 off of your order. Ah, uh, Creality Scan, okay. Yeah, and here it shows the software icon for Creality Scan. Go to the Play Store. Creality Scan, install it. Back to life, back to Creality. Allow Creality Scan to take pictures and record video. <laughs> Duh! But only while using the app. Alright, so here we are, we're in here. Recommended objects to be scanned. CR Scan Ferret is ideal for medium and large size object scanning. If you are new to 3D scanning, hello, please try some objects which are easy to be scanned. Recommended human faces, human bodies, sculpture, carving, etc, etc. Scanning objects that's too large or too small could be challenging. It may require more practice, patience, and technique. Not suitable. Big red X. Transparent, reflective, through holes, very thin. Non-stationary objects such as a moving animal. Don't try to scan your dog running through the yard. Oversized objects such as a wall, rooms, Big Hush's giant head, etc. Ultra small objects such as keys, coins, scissors, gears, jewelry, or Big Hush's tiny brain, etc. It is recommended to use scanning spray for high transparency and reflective objects. 3D scanning spray that produces a matte finish will improve the likelihood of the scanner recognizing the object. All right, how to choose proper scanning settings. Scanning modes for visual tracking. Geometry mode for the objects with rich geometry, statues, carvings, etc. Texture mode for the objects with vivid, irregular graphical pattern. So I'll be going geometry mode because this bust of Jason is basically like a statue. Objects with rich geometries and texture, geometry mode recommended. Objects without rich geometries, including flat and regular shape, nor rich texture. You can put markers or hand-drawn markers randomly on the object before scanning. And it's giving me a red 
broken link camera icon, so I'm guessing I need to go ahead and hook these two together. All right, so this is gonna hook up into your phone. Now, got a green icon, so we're hooked up. All right, so here I am in my kitchen with my part eight Jason mask over a part seven hood. Don't tell anybody. Um, I'm trying to open up the app here with one hand, which is pretty challenging, but here you go. Here's the first look. Now, I can't scan this thing and work my camera at the same time, so I'm going to put you on a tripod so you can watch the action. I had to time lapse this video because it took me forever to go around this, this full thing and get a complete scan. And this scanner is, is very touchy about optimal distance from the object. You go just a little bit too close or back up a little bit too much and it lets you know and you got to get, get back in the optimal distance. Check that out. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Not bad for a first pass. Okay, so I'm gonna hit next and optimize it. Now I'm hitting next and it's gonna mesh the scan and, and fill in all the holes and gaps that are there. So I've exported the STL file and my process when I 3D print things is to use Cura to create my object file. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just scaling and resizing the object so I can hopefully get it printed in a timely fashion even though it's gonna take forever anyway. Now I'll just fire up my Creality Ender 3 printer and get this show on the road as they say. I said I wasn't going to scan my face. I wonder if I can flip this camera around and scan my face. By the way, here's all the settings that you can select before you make a scan. Alright, I got it rigged up to where the camera's pointed back. It's putting some tension on the cable that's making me nervous, but I want to see if I can scan my face with this thing. This was creepy. It kind of freaked me out to see a 3D scan in my face. Um, obviously this is very, very rough. I didn't use any of the scanning spray that they recommended for the hair and for the uh, clear objects like my goggles that are on my forehead. So that's why there's huge holes and, and this thing's kind of a mess. But if we're trying to scan a selfie, it's not bad. And this does do color mapping. So you can switch between original and color map mode. All right, so I've made a few scans and it's gonna take me some time to actually print the scans because right now my 3D printer is tied up. But I can say for certain now that I already love this thing. I was having so much fun scanning stuff. Um, this thing is so easy to use right off the bat. I was able to just download the app and jump right in and start scanning. I'm very pleased with that part of it. I did realize after a couple scans that I needed to pay more attention to the settings, obviously. Specifically, I needed to pay attention to what file type I was making during the meshing part. Originally, it's set to PLY file types. I have no idea what that is but I know that STL and object files are the only two files I've ever used for creating and printing. I also think I was starting to get the hang of the actual scanning process. Keeping it at an optimal distance is tricky. Uh, I think the better play that I've seen in a couple videos before during processing time, I looked up a couple tutorial videos just to see what other people are doing with these and they put their object on like a lazy Susan or something so they can keep the camera in place and just rotate the object so that their optimal distance isn't so freaking tricky to, to maintain. So that was kind of a chore, but I was also just trying to freewheel it and move around the object. One thing that I didn't like is that there was two times that I scanned something and as soon as it started optimizing it, it 
cut out. My, my cell phone screen just blinked real quick and then suddenly there was nothing there scanning anymore and I didn't have a file. So that was annoying. I don't know if that's a, a typical thing that happens with this app, but it did happen to me twice. Luckily, I'm in the beginning stages. I'm not relying on any of this stuff. It really didn't hurt me to go back and rescan the object again. I think that's it. Have I covered it? Covered everything? I do wish that someone else was home right now because I want to scan a person. That was so trippy to scan my own face. Very difficult to get an actual complete scan, of course, but I'm looking forward to scanning somebody and printing them. That's going to be the most entertaining part of this product, I think. All right, guys, it's the Creality Ferret 3D Scanner, and I love it. I think it's awesome. I'm having so much fun with this thing. I highly recommend it if you do a lot of 3D printing or if you do a little bit of 3D printing. This is very fun and it opens up many more opportunities for you in the type of things that you get to print. Thank you so much for watching this. Hope everything is great in your world and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. If you like the idea of using a 3D scanner to make your own 3D prints, then please use my Amazon link below in the info and be sure to enter the code 35FERRET to get $35 off of your order.